Dizzy Whirl, the crack of dawn. Yes, get the nice sunrise as we meander our way in. Woo! On the mountain rail. The driver just told us that we're on the first monorail into the park for the day. Why is no one else dancing? <laughs> Inside of the Disney World! <laughs> the queue, it's so long! Uh oh. Arr. Yar. Spittoon. Long lines, long lines. <laughs> Get some rum. It's Captain Jack! Send in him Sir Davy Jones! It's the rum they want! rides down three if you count the monorail we got some <laughs> Ooh, we got some pirates of the caribbean to start it off and the jungle cruise now we're going to cruise over to big thunder mountain railroad uh oh they're going to get me wet <laughs> first roller coaster of the morning oh yeah All right, so we just completed Big Thunder Mountain. The crowds are starting to roll in. We've been really lucky with not having to wait in line. Now we're gonna take our chances at the Haunted Mansion. Your cadaverous valor betrays an aura of foreboding, almost as though you sense a disquieting metamorphosis. Is this haunted room actually stretching, or is it your imagination? Mm -hmm. And consider this dismaying observation. This chamber has no windows, and no doors. <laughs> Serpents and spiders, hail of a rat. Okay, we, we've been on a bunch of rides already, right? We got Big Thunder Mountain, uh, Haunted Mansion, Jungle Cruise, Pirates of the Caribbean. Now we're on to the Seven Dwarves, Mine Extravagance. I know. I know. I know. We're waiting in our first line of the day. It says 45 minutes. Uh, we'll see how long it takes. We made it to the Seven Dwarves ride, and we've decided that this is the first stinky ride so far. We are going under the sea, man. Under the sea. That's where we'll be. 
Under the sea. Under the sea. Under the sea. My story got never as interesting as Ariel's. center of the Dizzy World universe, of course, Cinderella's castle. Yep, that's right. Been having an awesome day so far. Trying not to trip on stuff. Lots of people, There's lots of people out. Here we are in the parking lot of Epcot Center. Part two of today's adventure, Dizzy World adventure. Dizzy World! Are you feeling kind of dizzy in the world right now? Yes. Yeah, me too. Space Mountain, I'll do that. Space Mountain, yeah. Space Mountain is amazing. Still, I think it's my favorite so far. We have more Dizzy World, Epcot, Hollywood, Studios adventure. See how it goes up ahead. It's coming. <laughs> hey, there's Daisy Duck right there. Look at that. All right, so we're at Epcot. Over here, we've got some. Uh, there's Donald Duck. He's got a sombrero on. It's pretty cute. Say hi to some little princesses. It's like we're in Germany. We can pretend we're in Germany if you squint. If you squint, you're in Germany. So this is the shop that uh, a little girl's dream of. It's where you can get your princess costumes. Ooh, it's pretty nice. Um, it's very special in here. I lost Sarah. She's around somewhere. There she is. <laughs> she found it. Where she found it. The best toy in the shop. Best toy. found a collection of Japanese art here in the Japanese World Exhibition craziness. Um, the AC's kicking in here. It's awesome. 
and uh, there's a lot of other people that are, that are taking advantage of the air conditioning. So I wasn't a believer in the Mickey ice cream bar and you know why you would pay five dollars and seventy five cents for it. Um, but then I took a bite. You're not too bad. And the, the vanilla is delicious. And the deep dark chocolate. Oh my god. It definitely is recommended. Recommended. There, there's definitely something special about that bar. Um, it's not something you can get from your ice cream man. First though. Where'd the ice cream man go? Have you seen him around? We just happened to find ourselves in like a French patisserie with coffee and espresso and all sorts of French bakery goods. It's six and a half hours left to go. It's time for espresso. We got some tasty, tasty treats. Espresso, keep me going. Chocolate mousse. I got a donut. <laughs> Beignet. All right, we'll have to ask some experts, but we think that there's a hidden Mickey here in France. Maybe in, in that, maybe, hidden Mickey? Yeah. yeah. Here we are again, another ride. Sure, you can see with your eyes, but imagine what you could see if you used your imagination. Follow the bouncing piglet. What's part of the light? What do you think about this mall? We're about to go soaring. All right, well that soaring ride is awesome. So cool. It was like the air conditioning ride. You get to stand inside with really strong air conditioning and then you sit down in a really comfy seat and it's like they blast you with some more air conditioning and smells and different stuff as you're flying around the world. Perfect for the afternoon when it's hot and you need some air conditioning. Now we're headed to Spaceship Earth. Here we go, Spaceship Earth. Made it, we're going in. It's sunny. Sure. Alright, so we survived at Epcot. Epcot. We went to the top of the dome, Spaceship yeah. Earth. Stars. Now we're headed over to Hollywood Studios. Thank you, have a good night. We've got a good four hours left to experience Hollywood Studios. We did a couple chill rides with Soren and Spaceship Earth. Got some good air conditioning and recovery sitting down. Now we're, we're ready for more. All right, so Epcot's under construction right now and getting out of the park was actually kind of tricky because yeah, you kind of get put into like a pathway that you're like, oh, I don't know if this is gonna take us the right way. Well, we were kind of like headed back to a hotel or a resort or something. So we finally found the right way to get back to our car. Now we just have to find our car. A L U.
party and vacation. Florida newbies, be careful, the sun's hot down here. Drink lots of water, put on lots of sunscreen. Electrolytes. Electrolytes. All right, it's a little bit after six and we are starting round three. We've made it over to Hollywood Studios. We're about to enter the park and uh, always mem remember, supervise your kids. Smells tasty. They're cranking some good smells into the street here. What you have learned from your master, your students must learn from you. So we made it on to Star Tours. No line somehow. We, we got our glasses. All right, after uh, about 10 hours of thrill rides, the 3D glasses, and the Star Tours, I'm pretty sure we really did go to space there. No, no, th those aren't the droids we're looking for. <laughs> We, we are about to enter into the galaxy's edge. Here we go. Into a Star Wars movie. Oh, look at the blinding sun. Oh, yeah. This place is crazy. What's going on with this place? It's crazy. right there. hiding out because the stormtroopers are coming through. He wanted to make sure he didn't get caught by the stormtroopers. Chewie took off because the stormtroopers are around. Right, I know. We'll just let them go that way. There go the stormtroopers. Oh, they're going back to their ship. Oh. And if you would like to purchase your own Stormtrooper full outfit, you can if you want. It's not that bad. Yeah. 
Alright, we're making our way over to the Aerosmith Rock and Roll roller coaster where we have reservations for a ride so that we don't have to wait in line. Grooving our way down, got some espresso, keep us fueled for the rides. And there's the Tower of Terror back there. We're making our way over to the Aerosmith Rock and Roll roller coaster. Crashed car on that track. Oh, it's got some rock and roll coming out of it. It's a beautiful evening. <laughs> Taking a little break before our ride. We've got five minutes before our fast pass goes into effect. We'll hang out, listen to some cars in the car area. Aerosmith roller coaster ride. It's a very busy line. We, we did the fast pass. People are still trying to cut like these people right now. Wow, right. If they don't mind us, we'll be finished in just a minute. Yeah. Hey, God, did you just see that? There's the first over there. We rode it. Okay. Whoa. My brain is definitely scrambled from that Aerosmith roller coaster. It was amazing. Now we're like rock stars. It's crazy lights. We got some Bohemian Rhapsody playing. All right. That was definitely a brain scrambler. And. Now we're gonna go do something else. Horse family. How the there's the Tower of Terror up there. That could be next. Here we go. Exactly sure what's happening. We're stuck here in the Twilight Zone. It's like Freddy Krueger's basement. It's kind of scary. There they are, strapping people under their seats. The service elevator. Well, the Hollywood. Tower of Terror was awesome. Wow, what a, what a quality ride that is. Spacey sounds. Frogs. Frogs. <laughs> aliens. Space frogs. Aliens. Space frogs aliens. Frogs in space. <laughs>
now after my modest profit, your gut minus what you owe me for damaging the Falcon is... Hey, not bad. All right, my friends. You brought the Falcon back in one piece, and I guess that is something. <laughs> not a lot, but something. Welcome back to Batu. <laughs> <laughs> Falcon. Yeah. All right. We are pirates. The Millennium Falcon. Yeah. Where if they don't kick you off the ride. You can kind of meander around in there a little bit. That's kind of nice. Take your time. Good AC. Uh, plus, probably there's not that many people at the park anymore. We got on that ride quick. Whoa! Look at that. Looked like we were going down in flames. It was awesome. There we go. Oh my god, you can feel the heat. Whoa! Holy crow, that was. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. You can smell it. You could definitely feel the heat from that thing. Holy crow. <laughs> Sheriff Woody, come on in and let's have ourselves a Oh my god, you can feel the heat. 